Hi everyone, welcome to Simple Cutting and Sewing channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to make this simple stylish tulip uh, wrap trouser. I call it tulip trouser because its legs look like a, a tulip petals wrap around each other nicely and um, uh, it is very simple and easy to make. And before we dive into our video, I would like to uh, announce that I can uh, um, speak Urdu as well. And if you want me to translate any of my video in Urdu, then contact me via email. I will add in the description below and I will translate uh, my video into uh, Urdu. But this service is uh, uh, chargeable and there is a small charge. You will pay the charge and I will transfer you my video in Urdu translation. So let's get started. We need two measurements to make this trouser. First is waist measurement. Uh, put measuring tape all around your waist and another one is crotch area. Um, in between your legs and just keep it little loose because this trouser um, style looks nice when it is a little looser. I will show you on a piece of paper first how to do the cutting for this trouser. So take a piece of paper or it will be cons assume that this will be your fabric, fold it. And you need two and a half meter of fabric for this type of trouser and it is better to use a stretchy material or any flowy material will be good even chiffon fabric crinkle or anything flowy it will sound good so fold your fabric like this according to your length now you can see there are two ends are open and this is a folded end so we have least sewing in this trouser. So the side which is closed, I will start to cut crouch area from that side. So there will be no stitching, extra stitching on that side. Crouch area, I'm going to take 13 inches. And um, these uh, closed and I am going to close, uh, so, uh, cut them so they will be open as well. So after doing that, we have a two pieces of fabric. This is up to you if you want to keep your trousers straight. But if you want to make a tulip trouser like I did, then you need to follow the guideline and um, as I'm doing. Now for making tulip trouser, I simply did take my waist measurement and then according to the total length, I did U-shape cutting. And U-shape cutting, it looks really nice petal shape when you walk and wrap around your body and uh, uh, body uh, your legs are not revealing either. So this is how your cutting on fabric will look like uh, after finishing cutting. So let's get uh, started on our fabric. I took two and a half meters of fabric. This is a scuba crepe fabric. It has a little stretch. So I need two measurement, five inches from the folded end for crouch area and the waist measurement and total length. Total length minus two inches for the belt. So uh, I'm just uh, taking the total length and then at the end, I will just make a U shaped. Now I will start cutting crouch area and the crouch area length, I'm taking 13 inches. And now I'm going to give a U shaped and then I will start cutting. So this is how our fabric looks like now two pieces and we have to match these centers and the stitch from the center only this main stitching we have to do and now i have stitched the crouch area this is the center and now i will open it looks a little weird shape but it end up look like a trouser you can see and it goes around your waist 
and now I'm going to add a bias binding. If ribbon shape uh, um, bias binding is ready made, you can get from any haberdashery shop and put it all around your uh, trouser so you don't need extra hemming. So uh, this uh, bias binding is like an open ribbon, uh, open one side and attach on one side just like I'm doing and after attaching on one side then it is folded on the other side and uh, both side of the trouser will look similar. Now this is how it looks like and now I'm folding it to another side and my hemming will be done and do it all around your trouser. Now this is the time to add the belt first on the front side measure your uh, front side and on both side I will keep one one inches extra belt so when you will be uh, wrap it around your body then there is a, a space to wrap it around because this measurement is not exact measurement of your waist because we kept one inches less amount of waist for example if your waist measurement is 15 inches from front and 15 from the back so we will be keeping 14 inches so if this trouser will give you enough nice uh, twist around your body now this uh, fabric width is four inches wide and when i will fold it it become two inches so this belt will be two inches wide now I'm going to fix belt with the front part of trouser first. So fold your belt, mark the center, make sure you start from the center and both sides of the belts are equal. It's according to your measurement, must make sure your um, uh, waist measurement and leave something, uh, some uh, fabric extra to wrap around your body. Might be two inches or one inches. I kept one inches. So mark the extra fabric. So when uh, uh, we will be uh, turning inside out and this spare, uh, this extra piece of fabric, I have stitched it. And now I am using my pencil to make its corners right. And then I will use my uh, sewing machine to fix rest of the belt. Now this uh, uh, whole belt have been fixed. I use my sewing machine to fix it. Now this is how it looks like. It has an extra side to wrap it around like this. This is a bag and I'm now going to use these press on buttons and you can use these press on uh, strips as well. These are easy but I have a go yellow one so I'm going to use this button because uh, these are colorless and this yellow color is too uh, lighter and i don't want to put dark color so i'm using my sewing needle to fix these buttons so make uh, mark them so make sure they um they are both on opposite sides so you can press on easily Now I'm going to add a long belt on the back side of the trouser. So this belt size is same, four inches wide and length is totally according to um, your choice or whatever fabric you have got left. So this length is uh, looks like about two meter in length and uh, four inches wide. So in the same way, just mark the center and fold this fabric and start um, make sure that uh, fix it in the center so on both side we have same amount of belt so the, uh, the belt which is outside our trouser we will stitch that part first and then we will fix it with the trouser so you keep watching as i am doing
Now I'm turning the long parts of the belt inside out using my pencil. You can use any rod or anything. So now I am making make sure the corners are right and then I will pull my pencil and belt on either side of trouser is ready. Now this is a back part long with a long belt and our trouser is ready and this is how we will be wearing it first front part and uh, use our uh, uh, press on buttons so our trouser is secure and then after securing our uh, front part of the trouser simply bring or pull your back part of the trouser from your legs and tie it around your body and this is our trouser tulip wrap trouser is ready and this is how we wear it it is nice easy stylish and it, lo it looks really nice in this summer weather you can make in all different pretty colors hope you enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching any question feel free to ask and uh, as i mentioned earlier if you want Urdu translation of uh, this video you can contact me through email and uh, then I will get back to you and see you all in my next video bye